10 seconds. Okay, I'd like to call the March 12th, 2024 school board meeting to order. Can I have a roll call, please? Maggie Larson. Here. Todd Marsh. Here. Carrie Clark. Here. Sarah O'Brien Hart. Here. Crystal D. St. Croix. Here. Marsha Brown. Here. Barbara Wentworth. Excused. Susan Tierney. Here. Gemma Soldati. Here. All right. I'd like to welcome Gemma Soldati to lead us in the pledge this evening. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm a board member. Yeah, would you like to start? Or? Well, the first order of business this evening is wel welcoming our Ward 5 representative, Gemma Saldati. Welcome, Gemma. So it's been vacant for a little while. Thank you for stepping up to serve. Um, an alum of Summersworth and resident and just wanted to wish a warm welcome. This isn't um, serving on the school board is sometimes people's first civic engagement, you know, um, of applying the service. And I'm very grateful for the members at around, you know, are at large and our ward members, they've been um, putting in the work and the effort and we're really lucky to have such a committed team. So welcome. If anyone else would like to say short words, but, um, or if you would like to say anything, Gemma, you, you always have an opportunity in the beginning of the meeting at the end of the meeting for board member comments, but would any other board members? Yes, board member Marsh. I don't want us to break a record for getting out early. So no, I, I just want, um, welcome uh, to my uh, Ward 5 neighbor, uh, school board member Soldati. I did share with her recently that um, I served with her father. Yep, that's what happens apparently. That's how it happens, right? Um, when I was on the school board when I was in my early 20s, and um, I always appreciated him. He treated me with respect. And um, so I'm looking forward to serving with you. I have something that ties in that if that's okay, unless the board members want to speak. It's just a little known secret. Um, uh, Gemma's uh, dad, um, um, I got to know in my younger days, I, I was involved in um, campaigns when I was a young, young boy, a young adult. And uh, he campaigned for um, the Stratford County um, attorney, county attorney. And I remember leafleting for him. Uh, great man, um, and it's so nice to see his daughter here. He'd be very proud of you. And so, um, yeah, I got to, to know him uh, in my younger days, and uh, he's a great guy, and uh, congratulations on being on the board. So that's my two cents worth, so, but it's worth. Great. Yeah, board member Clark. I just want to say thank you for speaking for the residents of Ward 5. Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it. Great. All right. Gemma? Yep. Board Member Soldati. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just wanted to also say thank you uh, to the board and superintendent for welcoming me in the city for a warm welcome. Um, it's certainly an honor to be here in uh, uh, honoring my father as county attorney, mayor, and former school board member and chair. Um, I hope to make him proud in this position and also have very fond memories uh, of my time in the Summersworth School District attending Hilltop Elementary and Summersworth Middle School. So I hope I can um, really bring those perspectives uh, to this position. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Um, any other comments by board members at this time? All right. Seeing none, opening the floor to comments by visitors. Any comments by visitors this evening? Okay, seeing none, we'll move on to the consent calendar. Uh, what's the wish of the board to adopt the consent calendar? I move to approve the, uh, adopt the consent calendar as presented. Okay, do I have a second? Second. Second, all right. Any discussion about uh, any items on the consent calendar? All right, seeing none, all in favor? Say aye. Aye. All right, the consent calendar is adopted. 
Moving to agenda item number four, reports. Uh, there's no student representative report this evening. There will be at our next board meeting. Uh, agenda item 4.2, our superintendent's report. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I wanted to bring the board up to speed on some donations that um, the district received. Um, by your policy, I can accept um, um, donations with a value of under $2,500. And I wanted to say thank you and recognize publicly the Summersworth Friends of Music. Uh, they provided a series of individual purchases for drum, drum equipment, drumline equipment. And I'm going to talk a little bit later about uniforms donated uh, to our marching band program. Uh, these, uh, the, um, the equipment and the um, uniforms were really needed and so grateful for the Summers with Friends of Music. So here's a list of uh, donated items I've accepted on behalf of the school district. And I know Devin DiBernardo, our director of music, is over the moon as a result of, of the donations. So, uh, so here we go. Drumline equipment, uh, one set of marching tenors, uh, $1,200. One marching snare drum, $700. Two marching drum harnesses, $500. Two marching drum cases, $600. And eight marching drum covers, $450. Um, and that's a collective total of $3,450. So thank you to them. And also, I wanted to just share with you next meeting, I'm going to ask you to vote to approve um, um, items that will be purchased or currently, some have already been purchased, some will be purchased uh, for uniforms. And I'm just going to give you the dollar amount. It's $27,000 in total. Um, and so here's the list. Uh, jackets at $6,000. Uh, Shakos, which are head caps, at $4,000. Plumes, which are feathers for the caps, $3,000. Those must be really exciting. I can't wait to see the plumes. Hip sashes at $4,000. Uh, gauntlets, which are gloves that they wear, $3,000. Drum major uniforms. I think we have a couple of drum majors. They conduct the, the band at uh, $4,000. And then garment bags, boxes and to carry things in, and a plume cart for $4,000. So that's a collective total of $27,000 and your policy requires that I, prov I provide public notice of this so that's what this is serving as tonight as public notice and then at your next meeting on um, March I believe 26 uh, I will ask you to vote to approve these and again I just want to I can't say enough about uh, the friends of uh, some the, the, I'm sorry the summers of friends of music for their generous donation and commitment to our marching band and to our music program so it's a great thing, so thank you. I don't know if you have any questions or anything. Okay. And then the next order of uh, business for me is I want to just give you an update on the, uh, we have two uh, administrative searches going on. I know the, the superintendent search has been completed, and uh, I know you're finalizing that, and, and hopefully there'll be an announcement soon. Um, we're looking at uh, filling two positions, which are key central office position. One is a special ed administrator uh, position, and the other one's an assistant superintendent. And I have a timeline that I've established that I've shared with search committees. I'll let you know that on the special ed administrative um, search timeline, I can tell you who the committee members are. It's myself. If the new superintendent uh, wants to participate, he, he certainly can. Uh, two school board members, Susan Tierney and uh, Sarah O'Brien Hart, thank you for volunteering for that committee. Uh, Caitlin Carrington, our CTC director, um, Susan Blair, our Title I director of curriculum and grants manager, two principals, Jim Lampron and Max Ferguson, two building uh, special ed coordinators, which would be um, Lorraine Field and Amy Pillsbury, and two special ed teachers, uh, Charlene DiBenedetto and Emily Egan. And so the uh, applications to receive, um, the deadline to receive applications has passed. That was March 4th. We completed our advertisement. We established a search committee. Um, there's a deadline to review applications, which is March 18th, 2024. And then that the committee will meet to review the applications and then us, us select and draft uh, interview questions as well. And then we're look, shooting for conducting interviews um, for the week of March 18th and then um, notify if it all works out well, if not, we'll reopen, but notify a finalist to confirm March 25th, 
and then I'm hoping I can bring a nomination to you on March 26th. So that's the um, ambitious timeline there. Uh, once things close, the, uh, once the uh, application period closes, things take off pretty quickly. I don't know if you have any questions about that one. I've also, in my past um, jobs, um, I've had um, search committee confidentiality forms, so I created one for Summersworth uh, that um, just getting folks to agree that we're not going to talk publicly about candidates, those uh, the finalists that's chosen and those that applied. Um, I think that's being respectful to all parties uh, involved in the uh, search process. And then in terms of the assistant superintendent timeline, um, we, we've, we've advertised the position. It's been on a number of different uh, sites, just like the SPED administrator position. Um, New Hampshire had jobs. It's on um, School Spring and other things that we use. Um, and the committee has been established. Um, I can tell you who's on the committee, myself, the new superintendent, if he's available, is welcome to participate. Uh, two board members, which would be uh, Crystal St. Croix and Carrie Clark. Thank you. And uh, Title I Director, uh, uh, Director of Curriculum and Grants Management, Susan, um, Susan uh, Blair. Katie, our business administrator, will be on that committee. Um, I've asked the Rawlingsford Grade School Principal, uh, Lindsay Cation, to be involved in this, uh, kind of reaching out to our neighbors, and she said she would. Um, uh, the uh, Idlehurst Elementary Principal, which is Liza um, Coco, and our SHS Assistant Principal, uh, Michael Blewin. And then three teachers, we have uh, Michelle uh, Corner, Ann Parsons, and Eric Inglefinger who's here tonight. So uh, we put that committee together. I did send out a notice today uh, to everyone um, uh, about the timeline and then uh, the process. And then um, that group will begin, we're shooting for uh, reviewing the applications um, the week of March 22nd and then conducting interviews the week of March 25th and then check the references, notify the finalists the uh, week of April, well, April 1 through 5, and then hopefully I can nominate somebody to you on April 9th at, at your April board meeting. So that's where we're at. I don't know if you have any questions, but it's, it's a good group of people and looking forward to doing this, so enjoy it. So anyone? Okay, okay thank you. That's all I have. All right. Yep. All right. All right, there's no um, business administrator's report this evening, but we do have our city councilor, Messier. There's an update. Thank you. Uh, I don't really have much, but uh, the budget season will start on Friday. We're due to get the budgets. Uh, Monday the 18th is the state of the city. Um, so that and then our month and a half, two months is taken up. So there will be more information later, but... You all have an idea of how the budget season's going to be. Just have to ride through it. So that's about it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Great. Moving along to our uh, committee reports, our standing committees. We'll start with budget and revenue. Board Member Marsh, I don't believe there is. Thank you, Madam Chair. The uh, <clears throat> budget and revenue committee has not met since our last meeting. We do have a scheduled meeting on Thursday, March 21st at 5.30. Thank you. Yep. All right. Uh, building grounds and transportation. Board Member Clark. So we did meet. Um, uh, my note says February 6th, but that's incorrect. It's March 6th. Yep, so that's wrong, Phil, already. But um, so Jay and Katie Kraus um, met us at the middle school, and we walked through all of the um, middle school floors and looked at all the areas where they have made improvements and all areas where we still need to work on, um, mostly looking at um, the library, which we know these things, but it's good to view them and see what's actually happening. Um, the library wall where it's still leaking when it rains due to the weep holes. Um, and then all the good things that we have done, like the many windows we, we have replaced. And the health clinic looks super impressive. You haven't walked through there. It's very nice. Um, and we also toured like the Colony Arts, the auto, the building and trades, the medical assistant, the media room, and the weight room. Those are all very nice. I do have pictures I, I'm going to send to board members just so you guys can know too what it looks like in there if you haven't toured yet. Um, it was a long meeting. We started at 
five, I believe, and we ended at six forty one. That's my my yeah, thanks. Thank you. I don't believe there's an ed programs and I don't believe you had a meeting. Is that correct? Okay. Yep, I think that the next one is the nineteenth at the um at four PM. Is it and is it at Idlehurst? No. Maplewood. It's at Maplewood on the nineteenth. Okay. All right, March 19th, the next ed programs at four o'clock. All right, moving to our policy committee, po um, board member Tierney. Okay, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, so policy committee's actually met twice since our last board meeting. Um, so um, let's see, I'll kind of catch up. First, we met on the 5th, and thank you to board member Brown for um, ably, ca capably uh, and ably uh, you know, ma um, running that meeting in my absence. So I will just sort of give the update um, from her notes and the big this part of the discussion and that's up for first reading tonight is policy JICJ um, which is the technology communication devices for grades 9 through 12 as you recall um, this um, was brought forth by Principal Tebow to um, have the high school sort of be in line with the other schools in the district so um, the committee Revise a policy to restrict, uh, restrict cell phone use during when students are engaged in school activities. This would be, include both academic instruction and after school sports, for example. Um, and then they clarified the parent child communication procedure. Uh, the committee, and I'm just reading from um, board member Brown's notes here, the committee felt important that if a student needs to be reached by their family in the case of an emergency, that the school administration know of this emergency so that they can lend support to the student, such as by assembling appropriate school personnel or counselors. So um, basically, we're, you know, we're restricting their use, but emergency situations, of course, are being considered. So um, that was that. And then we, the policy committee also met tonight, um, just before this meeting, and we basically were going to dive into, we started the discussion on policy JBCD, which is background investigation and criminal checks. Um, this is a policy that is currently, um, the, the district ha currently has this policy, but the NHSBA provided an updated policy. Um, and so we sort of we, we started just go through that. Um, we had a really good discussion, really lots of inf information to keep in mind there. Um, we're going to continue that discussion next time. So nothing really to report at this point. Um, and to, let's see, the next policy meeting will be on April 9th. And we're going to try to start for moving the policy meetings that are happening right before the school board meetings. Um, we're going to try to move them here to City Hall if possible. So that is that's it. Okay, thank you. Oh, this um, oh, the sub sub part time and substitute. yes. So the right. Um, it says the committee revised policy GCG to include rates of pay, and then the superintendent would circulate the revised policy. So, sounds like that was tied up. That was just sort of like a tying up that discussion that had started prior, you know, the meeting prior. Right, and and I think for the. Um, yeah, the changes, if we can um, publicly say them yes now, and that be, so we don't have to read the entirety for the first reading. I but am for, happy to do that if somebody has a copy. I don't have it oh, anything I, in I, front of me. In our, it's in our packet, but what I'm yeah, seeing. I did, didn't print anything out, sorry. What I'm sorry. saying, and I can, I, I can say it right now. Oh, it's okay. The change um, so here, the rate of pay for a substitute without a college degree is 95 per day. The rate of pay for a substitute with a college degree is $105 per day. The rate of pay for a substitute for um, with a college degree and teacher certification is $115 um, per day. And then for long-term substitutes, it's a, uh, will be long-term substitutes will be paid at bachelor's step one per diem. Um, if, you know, a long-term substitute, uh, uh, the assignment wants to substitute exceeds 20 days of subbing. Long-term substitutes who are not New Hampshire certified will be paid 70% of the bachelor's step one per diem, which is the SAE um, Teachers uh, Collective Bar Bargaining Unit um, contract. So I think those are the major changes, which is just nice to kind of put in our minutes and have out as our first reading. Um, does that sound right? Yeah. yeah those are the, the, the changes of pay. It's really um, being updated and being able to attract substitutes that we need um, so much with a uh, solid um, pay scale. Yeah, those, those were, um, yeah. those changes were made to bring our 
So what am I, what am I trying to say? To, just to bring everything more in line with the commu you know, yep. surrounding communities so we're more competitive and just being more um, fair Absolutely. to all the work that's being done by our, by our long-term service. Great. All right. Any questions for policy? All right. Moving on, there's no presentation this evening. So agenda item seven is policy adoption. We have two policies um, for first reading. Do I have a motion to read these t um, policies by title only? <clears throat> I make a motion to read these, the policies by title only. Thank okay. you. Do I have a second? second? All right, all in favor say aye. 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 All right, let's read them by, by title only. Let's okay. See Policy GCG, <clears throat> part-time and substitute professional staff employment substitute teachers. Policy JICJ, Technology Communication Devices, grades 9 through 12. Okay, if there's any questions or if anything's unclear in your packet today, um, just want to make sure that we, at our next meeting, these will be up for a second reading and adoption, that we uh, roll them out to the community and um, promote them because they're both uh, welcomed changes. All right, there is no new business. Um, agenda. Item number nine is our non-public uh, in accordance with RSA 91A32B. I we would like to go into non-public. Do I have a motion to go into non-public for my board motion members? Motion to go into non-public. Okay. Per oh, do I have to say this part? Uh sure. 91. Per 91 colon. I don't know my glasses on. A colon three dash two B. Yep. Second the motion. Okay. Do I have a second? We're coming back. You have a second. Okay. Any discussion about this? All in favor say aye. Gotta do a roll call, Maggie. Oh, sorry. Yep. Maggie Larson. Yes. Todd Marsh. Yes. Carrie Clark. Yes. Sarah O'Brien Hart. Yes. Crystal D. St. Croix. Marsha Brown. Here. Susan there, yes. Tierney. Yes. Gemma Soldati. So we will be coming back into public session um, after this. So please stick around. We'll still be filming and um, after this non public. So. 30 seconds um, for Bill to be able to transition and pause. Is Bill back there? I don't think so. Yeah. Who's the yeah. man behind the curtain? Bill? Bill. Oh, it's Bill. Okay. Bill. Katie will. Oh, is it not? Okay, we're good. Okay, thank you. Um, we are back from our non-public and in public session. Uh, we are on agenda item number 10, which is old unfinished business, the superintendent search update. So I'm, we're looking for a motion to accept the superintendent steering committee's recommendation to nominate John Shea as superintendent. I motion to accept the steering committee's recommendation to nominate John Shea as superintendent of Summersworth. Okay, perfect. Second. All right. Do I have any discussion on this motion? All right. All in favor say aye. 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 John Shea is our nominated um, superintendent. With that, I am looking for another motion to authorize um, Board Member Brown and I, as your chair, to negotiate a contract that will um, bring before you uh, at our March 26th meeting for John Shea. I move to allow uh, Chairwoman Larson and Board Member Brown to um, draft a contract yes. for the nominated um, applicant for Superintendent John Shea. Perfect. Does that work? Second. <laughs> Second. Okay. Any discussion on that motion? Yes. I just want to explain that for the public members that it's not just a two-person committee that's going to be drafting this contract. We will be vetting the terms of it through the necessary um, personnel, HR, and avenues, attorneys. Yep. and, and uh, other, other counsel. So just want to lay that out there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have the motion on the table. All in favor, say aye. All right. Aye. Thank you. The author, authorization approved. We'll bring something for the March 26th meeting uh, for the contract. <coughs> Okie dokie. Uh, 
Future meeting dates, March 19th, our ed programs meeting uh, at Maplewood at 4 p.m. Uh, March 21st, budget committee, 5.30 p.m. at the SAU and our next board meeting is the 26th um, at 7 o'clock. Um, any comments by visitors this evening? Seeing none. Any comments by board members this evening? Yes, board member Brown. I just want to uh, express a public thanks to our steering committee for all of the hours that they put in for the superintendent search. Kudos um, for us having them uh, with all that work. So thank you very much, everybody. Just wanted to say congratulations to board member Sadati for sitting through her first official school board meeting. Welcome. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome, board member Saldati. Very happy to have you, very lucky. Thank you to everyone at the helm. Thank you to the entire district for their feedback on our superintendent um, nominee and, uh, you know, proud past, bright future. Looking for a motion to adjourn. Anybody? Motion to adjourn. Yes, second. All in, all in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned 45.